Hi there everybody and welcome to my video of me rearing the winter webworm aka Ocnogina baetica. These caterpillars from Africa and Spain are a type of tiger moth. Um, they feed on about just about anything as you can see. What I'm giving them here is Lonicera nitida, the kind of useless Japanese honeysuckle you see growing everywhere, which is evergreen. And I'm so glad to have found a species that eats it. But as you can see, I'm also giving them Prunus, uh, Prunus lusitanica, uh, basically about anything. As you can see, there's even dandelion in here. And they just love it. They'll eat just about anything. And what's interesting about this in the wild, these guys, these spin a communal uh, a web. And they live together in this uh, sort of web, which is why it's called uh, the winter webworm. But in captivity they don't seem very interested in doing that for some reason. Maybe only when they're overwintering, I don't know. I should read more about that. Either way, the rearing is uh, really easy. They eat everything I throw at them and some of them are already pupating. Here we see some other ones on uh, Lonicera and it's really a very small species of tiger moth. Um, they should be fully grown. And what's also interesting is the female of this species, they don't have any wings at all, which is strange for a moth. Uh, the males of this species do have wings and it's their role to uh, take flight and basically locate the females and pair with them. The females are just literally living egg sacs. Uh, they pair with males and they lay eggs and die and that's all they do. Kind of sad really, but also really interesting. Now these larvae have interesting defense mechanisms. If you bother them, some can run away actually quite fast. They're not really active right now, I think. Maybe I can show you one, I don't know. Hmm. Either way, uh, yeah, just some nice images of the winter webworm. Here's some old shed skins. Unfortunately, there are also some parasites in here. Here you can see uh, one that's been parasites, parasitized by a wasp. The white thingy is a parasite cocoon. It's kind of sad. I should remove it. I don't want any parasites in my breeding. Um, here another parasitic cocoon, the white thingy here, which should be removed. So yeah, that was basically it. And uh, I hope to see you the, uh, to show you the adults soon because really they're quite interesting. I don't think I've shown a wingless moth on YouTube yet, even though there's quite a few species of them. I think uh, some of you know Orgia antica. I don't know really the English moth writ. I think uh, is it the vaporer moth? I'm not very sure. Alright, the females don't have any wings at all. Okay, one more shot of a caterpillar and then I'm ending the video for today. Come on, focus a little bit. Oh, there you are. It's a little cutie. Okay, thanks for watching.